Hey, Progress Developers! You gave us good feedback and we listened. In OpenEdge 12, we're giving you new features to improve your productivity so you can code faster and more efficiently. We're giving you a better developer experience so you can use constructs familiar to you from other programming languages. And we're expanding the object-oriented capabilities of ABL so you can take advantage of all that an object-oriented language has to offer. This video describes five of these new features. Let's start with the var statement. The var statement offers a quicker way to define variables and is a shorthand notation for the define variable statement. The syntax for var is less verbose, more modern, and similar to other programming languages. With var, you always get no undo behavior, so you don't need to type the no undo keyword. When defining an array, you use bracket notation instead of the extent keyword. Instead of the initial keyword, you use the equal sign. Var saves you some typing and makes your code less cluttered and more readable. You can find more information about Var on the OpenEdge Information Hub. Another enhancement to ABL is the introduction of four new compound assignment operators. These operators allow you to combine an operation with an assignment. Previously, you had to write a statement like this. Now you can simply use the assignment operator and write code like this. The syntax is less verbose and quicker to type. These assignment operators are used in many other programming languages, and now you can use them in ABL. Search for assignment operators on the OpenEdge Information Hub for more information. Let's take a look at some object-oriented improvements to ABL. Object-oriented ABL originally had only three access modes, private, protected, and public. Now there are two new access modes, package private and package protected. These new modes provide package level protection to class data members, methods, properties, constructors, and events. Package private has the same access levels as private, but also allows access from other classes in the same package. Likewise, package protected has the same access levels as protected, but also allows access from other classes in the same package. With these new package level access modes, you'll be able to protect your class members and only allow access to code that really needs it. For more detail, Search for access modes on the OpenEdge Information Hub. Another object-oriented enhancement added to ABL is the ability to use methods for callback events instead of procedures for certain built-in ABL objects. This feature allows you to write your code in a pure object-oriented way and not have to resort to a mix of procedural and object-oriented code. You can already use methods for callback events for other built-in ABL object handles, such as datasets, buffers, and queries. We added to this list, and now methods can also be used for callback events for the run statement and socket programming. For the run statement, there are new options you can use. Event handler and event handler context allow you to specify either a procedure or a method. For client and server socket object handles, you can now use the setCallback method to specify a method for the callback event. Note that you don't have to convert your procedures to methods if you don't want to. The existing functionality still works as is, but the new options are there for when you do want to change them. To learn more about the support for methods as callbacks, click Get Started and review the What's New in OpenEdge guide. The last feature is a new compiler option called Require Return Values. This compiler option enables you to check user-defined functions, non-void methods, and property getters for code that doesn't have a return value or return error statement. Leaving out the return statement may lead to incorrect behavior in code that is hard to debug. Enabling the Require Return Values option during code development 
can flag all the places that aren't compliant. To learn more about this feature and all the recent ABL features, visit the OpenEdge Information Hub and click the Develop OpenEdge Applications category. The Enhancements tiles take you to recent features in ABL and object-oriented ABL. This concludes our look at some of the recent features that were added in ABL. To learn more about OpenEdge, visit the OpenEdge Information Hub.